denizens of a world of green world of green refers to the evil of a male dominated society evil of male dominated society right and they do not fear the men beneath the tree in fact the hunters who have come to hunt them the tigers are not even afraid of it they pay in sleek chivalry certainty sleek means stylish chivalry means chivalry what is this chivalry means that they are very confident or oh, sorry they are very brave certainty means they are very confident so we can say that the tigers that she created are stylish they are brave and they are confident in the first stanza we are being given the description of the tigers that the aunt created and her inner desire to be like tigers right and they are bright to pass denizens denizens means residents bright to pass bright metaphor is used here why because bright topaz is a stone right and it is used to describe the tiger am i clear now moving on to the next paragraph aunt jennifer's fingers are fluttering through her wool which poetic device here it is alliteration because for sound is being repeated right so why her fingers are fluttering because let me rub it for you because the fingers are fluttering because she is a nervous wreck why she is nervous wreck she has been abused physically as well as mentally she has been tortured mentally mentally also that even in the absence of uncle that is husband of our jennifer she is having a fluttering finger fingers find even ivory needle even needle hard to pull ivory needle it is very light in weight but aunt jennifer she has difficulty in pulling that needle also why her fingers are fluttering why she is a nervous wreck so this gives us an idea how difficult her life is how traumatic her life is okay the massive weight of uncle's wedding band sits heavily upon aunt jennifer's hand what does this mean that this marriage is a really heavy upon aunt jennifer wedding band what is wedding band it is symbol of wedding band means wedding ring it is symbol of marriage right upon sits heavy upon aunt jennifer's hand it is not heavy upon only on aunt jennifer's hand but the whole of aunt jennifer and the poetic device we use here is cynic talk now this cynic talk this is a poetic device when one part is used to represent the whole for example if 
we see say that the sails have set in. What does this mean? That the ship has started. The sails represent the ship. Similarly, the father earns bread and butter for the family. It is not only bread and butter, but the other things also. The father provides for the education, comforts and luxuries of the family. The bread and butter stands for everything. Similarly, Aunt Jennifer's hand stands for the role of Aunt Jennifer and that is selling dog. And the literal meaning of these lines is that marriage has really suppressed Aunt Jennifer badly. It is hard for her to survive a smooth life. Clear? Now, coming to the last paragraph, when aunt is dead. Now, just see, Bache, we see that in first two paragraphs, the poet referred to aunt Jennifer, but in the last, it is saying when aunt only, not aunt Jennifer. Right? Why? Because there can be two explanations that after death Aunt Jennifer has lost her identity or she has generalized all the women. She has generalized all the women who have been the victims of a bad marriage, of a traumatic marriage. Clear? So when her, her aunt is dead, her terrified hands will lie still ringed with the audience she was mastered by. This word ring, word ring, it evokes the image of a ring master. Right? It is the image of ring master. Your husband is a ring master and poor Aunt Jennifer, she is behaving like a dumb poor animal who has to dance to the tunes of the ring master. So, when uh, aunt is dead, her terrified hands will lie, still ring to the audience she was mastered by. What does this mean? That even after her death, she is not free. Her soul is not free because the bad is still on her hands. And the symbolic meaning is that she has faced so many audience during her married life, during her life, that even after death, her soul is not free. The tigers in the panel that she made will go on prancing, proud and unafraid. There are two meanings to this, Pache. The first meaning is that her work of art will outlive Aunt Jennifer. That even when Aunt Jennifer is dead, her work of art, her inventory of tigers will be there. Okay? And second explanation is the tigers will represent the male dominated society, which is hardly affected by the death of Aunt Jennifer. Right? So, what we see is that the society also supports the domination, suppression of a woman by her husband. Right? Clear? The very important question is who is the speaker of the poem Aunt Jennifer? Who is the Speaker of the poem. Since the word aunt is used, since the word aunt is used, it has to be, it has to be a nephew or a niece. Right? Now, who are the nephew or niece? Since the poem represents a feminist viewpoint, feminist viewpoint, it has to be a niece rather than a nephew. Clear? Am I clear? Any problems? So we have discussed the poem, we have discussed the poetic devices in the poem, we have discussed the theme of the poem which is that how a female gives the vent to her inner desire to be free and brave like the tigers in the society where she is suppressed by marriage, that is by her husband. Thank you.